faith over your family. Hallelujah. The cost of discipleship, number two, it, 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 it models sacrifice over self centeredness. Let's go back to the Bible, Luke chapter 14. He says, if any, if any man come to me here, mother, father, wife, children, brethren, and sisters, yea, even his own life. You see that there? He says, even your own life. Today, we live in a world where it's just self-glorification, glorification. Everything is about me. Me, me, what can I, we going into marriage, what can I get out of this, we in a job, what can I get out of this, what, everything is about us, I. And one person said, the center of sin is I. S-I-N. So everything is about us, look at Facebook, look at all the media, all the attention, is all about you. If you put something on Facebook and you find your friend don't like it, you are in brand vex. Because how come you don't like my video? How come you don't share my picture? How come you don't put a, a smiley face to this? Look at the world that we live in. Everybody, you see them, and they're just about selfie. They take out 1,000 and they put the one that suits best to Facebook. Not knowing that they will look it all home. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come. To a restaurant, take a picture of your food. You, you, you go to a birthday bash, you take pictures and so on. I'm not saying it, it's bad, but the world today has formed our minds that is everything about us. Teach our children about the past. Tell our children about the hard times we had. Tell our children about the times when we didn't have too much to eat. Not like today, everything is fast food. You can pick up the phone at any time. You might find that, I'm not saying that it's wrong, but I'm telling you today, look what is going on. Look what is happening. And Jesus is saying, Ella, you see that self centeredness? Everything is about you. You need to kill that self. He says, because one needs to hate your own life. Your own life to follow him. Can we really do that? Can we really function without everything is spotlight being on me? Are we having a, a, a heart as, as Romans 12 say, let us therefore come, let us be, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that they present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your well pleasing spirit. Hey, are you coming like that? Or are you coming? I can sing the best and I can preach the best and they can't do without me. Like if there's something unreal and truly thinking about it, if it had not been for the Lord Jesus Christ, you will become a nothing. But thank God that he died on the cross, that you are somebody and your life should be hidden in him. Your life should be one of humility. Humble yourselves for the mighty hand of God. 